In my last video, I showed you step-by-step step how I script, plan, and create the best travel videos on my channel. If it was up to me, I would love to travel and make more epic content. But unfortunately, Vietnam right now is on strict lockdown. No one can really leave the house. All the supermarkets and convenience stores are completely closed. Money no longer means anything unless you are lucky enough to be approved by your landlord to go and shop or to order something from the two major food delivery apps. So let's just spend everything I have left for the next few weeks and I'll show you what we can get on the Grab app for 500,000 dong here in Vietnam. I've been scrolling through the Grab app all day long and there's nothing available to deliver. And today I really wanna get some fruits, maybe some vegetables and some snacks cause I'm sick of eating the same thing at home. Therefore, we're gonna go to a convenience store that is just down the road that fortunately enough, it is open. Because besides that, restaurants, cafes, or anything else is closed. Now in these convenience stores, resources are actually really low. So I'm not quite sure what's available. But either way, we're gonna try to spend all of the 500,000 dong and show you guys how cheap Vietnam really is, even during these times when there's not much available. But before we head out, just make sure to smash that subscribe button and give me a like and comment down below what else do you guys want to know about Vietnam and where are you guys watching from? One of the ways that I get around here in Vietnam is with this little penny skateboard. Especially when I get into a new city, it's so handy to just ride around instead of walking and it really does the job and it's light, it's easy, compact to carry and saves me tons of time when it comes to walking. Now, let's go see if the store is open because I think it's closed. Guys, this looks so scary. Everything is locked, everything is closed, it's shut down. I've never seen Vietnam like this before. All right, guys, this is bad. This is really, really bad. The only store that I thought would be open is closed. This just goes to show how serious the situation is with the virus. It's actually really, really scary. Pharmacies, which usually are open all the time, are completely shut. And that's scary because what if people get sick? Where do they get their medicine from? And of course, the one shop that I really want to go to is closed. So what we're going to do now is just we're going to have to order off our cell phones. And I'll show you guys the prices on the Grab app. So here in Ho Chi Minh City and Vietnam, there's two apps that you can use. One is called Grab and the other one is called Shopee Food. And these apps are great, you know, when they're fully working, they're awesome because on Grab, you can order uh, scooter taxis, you can order food from all over the place. And sometimes I can sit there on the Grab app for hours trying to pick the food because it has so many options. Um, and you can actually also even order just a normal delivery to someone so if you want to send something to someone without you having to go all the way over there you can order someone to come pick it up and deliver it for you it's extremely extremely convenient and that's what i really like about vietnam things here are just so easy and simple the transaction is quick and fast and also it's cheap so to tell you the truth i've never felt so comfortable and had such a simple life as I have here in Vietnam. I've lived in the United States, I've lived in Colombia, I've lived in Australia. Uh, and yeah, that's about it for long periods of time. And now Vietnam, and seriously, life here is so easy. And of course, thanks to the internet, I can make a decent amount of money to be able to live in Vietnam. Oh my God, I have just spent a total of maybe an hour trying to order I have my cart down pack of what I'm gonna get and as soon as I press order it just cancels it says your items are not available and then I have to do it again and I did it again maybe three times in two different stores and absolutely nothing it's now about to be 5 and lockdown starts at 6 p.m. therefore I'm basically screwed so unfortunately today we cannot get anything of what we wanted to get so we're gonna try again tomorrow and see if it's possible to even order anything okay so they have received my order and now they have reached out to me letting me know that they don't have some of the items that I purchased so at the end we're only gonna be spending 342,000 which is about 15 US dollars now just analyze what can you get for $15 where you're from 
and I'm gonna show you all the things I got for $15. And the cool thing about Grab is that usually it always has some type of offer, so you can get maybe like a dollar or two dollars off, which is like 20 to 50,000. Um, I've gotten up to a hundred thousand dong off, which is insane. Anyways, the Grab driver is almost here, which is the scooter driver that's gonna deliver the food, and I'll be right back. Forever. Come on. So here we go. We got the good stuff. That's right. So we got all this goodness for 15 US dollars. I don't know about you guys, but my favorite type of chips are the Pringles. We got Pringles for 35,000. Bam. And tell me the sour cream and onions are not the best Pringles. Because if you have other Pringles that are better, let me know. I would, I would like to try them. I also am a big fan of the original Pringles. So I got one of those. That's another 35,000. Then we got another one, 35,000. Wait, I think I had ordered two of these and they only gave me two of the original ones. So sometimes that happens with Grab. Just, they're limited on resources, so they're like, fuck it, I'm sure he's okay just getting whichever one we sent him. Which is better than nothing because I've been waiting to order on the Grab app for a long time, so I'm happy to get whatever I can. Then I, I got these gummies, which they're kind of like peach gummies. They're not like sour or anything, they're just normal gummies. They're pretty good. Uh, and for this whole thing, it's 15,000 dong. I got another one for 15,000 dong. Then I got a Kit Kat. Uh, this one is the tea flavored Kit Kat. That's the only one they had. They didn't have the original one. This one was fifteen thousand dong, which is insane. That's like nothing. I'm a big fan of gummies. I like my sweets, so I got another one of these gummies. Uh, this one is grape flavored. I've never tried it, so I hope it's good. And this one was only fifteen thousand dong for this bag, which is fantastic. Fifty-five grams of gummies, amazing. I got two, so another fifteen thousand. Then I got this big box of hazelnut chocolate cream filled cookies for $26,000. What a bargain. Then I have a Pepsi, which is $12,000. I've actually I paid less for a Pepsi here. I think the cheapest has been $10,000 or maybe a little bit cheaper, but $12,000 is not bad. Then we got an original Tiger Beer, which is one of Vietnam's most famous and authentic beers. This one is $16,000. Next, we have another Kit Kat for 15000 As you guys can see, I really love my sweets. Uh, we have a little Oreo delicious pack for 10000 Then we have a Cremo, which is just chocolate flavored cream cookies for 6000 Dong, how cheap. And then this big bag here. Since I try not to drink too many sugary drinks, I love soda water. So I'm a big fan of soda water. So each soda water cost 7,000 each. And I got myself 10 of these soda waters. So yeah, I was able to get all this for $15. Can you guys imagine? Let me know in your country or wherever you're watching from, what can you get for $15? Are you able to get this or are you able to maybe get more? Is this too expensive? Is this too cheap? I don't know, let me know in the comments. As quarantine continues, I will continue doing videos every single week. So if you haven't, please smash that subscribe button. I'm trying to get creative. And let me know in the comment section what kind of videos you guys want me to do. As you guys know, I'm very knowledgeable about traveling, making money online, videography. But my main goal with this channel is to really just grow a community and give back to you guys that way that Every time you know that I upload a video, it's fucking fire. It's either very educational, it's very entertaining, and most importantly, providing some type of value that can bring to your life. But thank you so much for watching. Guys, leave me a comment, leave me a like. Please, 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 it means the world to me, and it really helps my channel so it can be pushed out to more people. Until next time, Christian Rodriguez, bye. I haven't had Pringles in about six months. They're so good. Mm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm.